Charlie Munger, the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway and the best partner of Warren Buffett, lived a robust life until the age of 99. He was a titan of the investing world, whose wisdom has been the cornerstone of Berkshire's success. But it wasn't just his financial acumen that set him apart. Munger's longevity and vitality were equally remarkable. Even in this era of advanced medicine and increasing life expectancy, living to 99 is no small feat. But Munger didn't just live long, he lived well. When we say robust, we don't mean he was never ill. Indeed, for the last decade of his life, he relied on a wheelchair due to back pain. But robustness means more than just physical health. It's about spirit, energy, and vitality. And on these fronts, Munger was a giant among us. Whether young or old, he was always full of vigor, never allowing his age or physical condition to dampen his spirit. Despite his ailments, he didn't spend his twilight years bedridden or confined to a hospital. Instead, he remained active, engaged, and intellectually sharp. This was evident in his final public appearance, a month before his passing. In an interview with CNBC, he appeared healthy and agile. His thoughts were crystal clear, his wisdom undiminished by age. He spoke with the same conviction and clarity that had made him one of the most successful investors in the world. Over the years, Munger accumulated billions in wealth, a testament to his knowledge and wisdom. But he was always willing to share his value investing strategy with others. Generous with his time and insights, he became a mentor to many. Yet few people know about his unique habits that contributed to his longevity. So what was the secret behind Charlie Munger's long and healthy life? Was it his diet, his daily routine, or just good genes? Or was there something more? We'll delve deeper into this in the next segment. While Munger was known for his value investing strategy, few people are aware of his unique lifestyle and habits. Charlie Munger was a man of peculiar tastes and routines, some of which might seem at odds with the conventional wisdom around health and longevity. His dietary choices, for instance, were far from what nutritionists might recommend. Munger had a fondness for donuts, peanut candy, pizza, cookies, and his beverage of choice was Diet Coke. Despite the obvious health implications, he indulged in these foods without any restraint. His daily schedule was also anything but regular. A workaholic by nature, Munger often started his day early, returning to the office by half past seven in the morning for meetings, and his evenings were frequently occupied with social engagements or Zoom meetings. Because of this packed schedule, his sleep hours were often less than the recommended eight. Perhaps most surprising of all was Munger's approach to physical fitness. Apart from the mandatory training during his three years in the US Air Force, Munger did not engage in any form of exercise for the majority of his 99 years. These unusual practices, his dietary preferences, irregular sleep schedule and lack of exercise, seemingly contradict most health advice. Yet Munger lived a robust life, full of energy and vitality, into his late 90s. Could these unusual habits be the key to Munger's longevity? Many attribute Munger's longevity to his genes, but this theory is not entirely correct. Let's delve a little deeper. While Munger never publicly shared the secret to his longevity, his lifestyle and attitudes offer some clues. Firstly, Munger never retired and kept doing what he loved. His passion for investing kept him engaged and his mind sharp, a crucial factor in maintaining mental health. Secondly, he maintained a positive attitude towards life. Optimism and a positive outlook have been linked to longer, healthier lives. Thirdly, Munger cherished the love he received and the love he gave. Strong social connections are a key component of health and longevity. Fourthly, he kept his brain active. Whether it was through investing, reading, or engaging in thoughtful conversation, Munger never stopped learning. Fifthly, Munger was known for his emotional stability. He rarely lost his temper, maintaining a calm and steady demeanor, even in the face of adversity. Lastly, Munger knew the importance of not stressing too much. Keeping a peaceful mind and not letting the ups and downs of life get to you is an essential part of a long, healthy life. And let's not forget Munger's strong self-control. He knew how to indulge in his favorite foods without overdoing it, a testament to his balanced approach to life. As we can see, 
Longevity is not entirely determined by genetic genes. Everyone has the opportunity to live a long and robust life, just like Charlie Munger.